As if it's not already apparent that the world wants to kill us all, we're surrounded by bugs that hate us. But we don't even know how dangerous some of these bugs can be. Well, you better get ready to run, friends. From the world's most deadly caterpillar to an ant named after a weapon, these are the 15 most dangerous bugs you should run away from. <sighs> Number 15. Lenomia Oblique it feels kind of weird to suggest that caterpillars can kill humans, but it's absolutely true. While most caterpillars tend to be pretty harmless and cute to look at, the Lonomia Oblique is very much not harmless. Actually, it's a notorious killer you've probably never heard of. The Lonomia Oblique is the most dangerous caterpillar in the world, also known as the Assassin. They can be found in the rainforests of southern Brazil, Assuming, of course, that you can spot them, the Lenomia oblique tends to blend in very well with the bark of the trees, making them very, very difficult to spot unless you're very close. And if you are close, you have something bigger to worry about. These caterpillars are covered in tiny spears filled with venom. Even a simple brush against one of these spikes can lead to severe side effects like vomiting and internal bleeding. Touching more than one can usually lead to internal hemorrhaging and even death. So if you weren't already scared of caterpillars, you certainly are now. Thankfully, most of us will never actually encounter the Lonomia Oblique in the wild. Still, there have been more than 500 deaths as a result of the Lonomia Oblique, so clearly not everyone is so lucky. Next time you see a caterpillar, you better get running. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Bullet Ant. Let's be honest here, you don't name an animal the bullet ant if it's not going to cause some kind of pain. You could call it the feather ant or the warm hug and love and kisses ant if you really wanted to give it that kind of vibe, but the bullet ant is just a much better name for an insect that is notorious for pain. Of these some um, 950,000 species of known insects in the world, The bullet ant is particularly well known because of its intensely painful sting. Those that have experienced it have compared it to the agony produced from taking a bullet. I'm not gonna ask how many people have experienced both, but those people apparently do exist. According to reports, the victims experience an agonizing sensation of discomfort for 12 to 24 hours. I have no idea if you feel the effects of a bullet for 24 hours, but I imagine it's not much more pleasant than the bullet ant's bite. Those that have personally experienced the bite of the bullet ant describe it as a pure, intense, brilliant pain. And just to clarify, that's not a compliment. Although to the ant, that's a pretty good great review. If it had a home like ours, I'm sure that one would be up on the fridge. Number 13. Ticks. It's a surprise to nobody that ticks carry disease and should be avoided at all costs. One unfortunate encounter with these things and you may be at risk of developing Lyme disease, and no Lyme disease has nothing to do with the fruit, but you probably knew that already. Ticks are basically parasites, insects that happily attach themselves to exposed skin and cause a whole lot of problems. They're commonly found all across North America and their impact can be deadly. If a Lyme disease carrying tick happens to attach itself to your body, you got a problem. If it's removed within 36 hours, the chances of you contracting Lyme disease are significantly lessened. If, however, the tick goes undiscovered, you could end up contracting this or some other unpleasant illness and all the undesirable effects that come with it. Experts advise you wear light-colored clothing that conceals your exposed skin while outside. This way you can see the ticks and remove them safely. Not a bad idea. Nobody, and I mean no buddy, wants to have an unfortunate encounter with a tick. If it happens to be carrying disease, it's going to be a long road to recovery. Just be aware of this next time you go camping. Number 12. 
Yellow Sack Spiders If you ask pretty much any arachnophobe, they'll tell you that there is no such thing as a pleasant spider. But the yellow sack spider is an especially unpleasant little dude. According to experts, this is one of the most aggressive spiders in North America and is responsible for more bites than any other species of spider. Brace yourself for this, arachnophobes. Like many spiders, the yellow sack spider is a venomous species. And yes, if you happen to get bitten by one of these guys, you're definitely going to know about it. There have been stories of these spiders getting into people's clothes and biting. or just attacking gardeners going about their business. Whatever the situation may be, it's pretty obvious that this spider is just not a pleasant thing to have hanging around. And naturally, those that experience bites from the yellow sack spider don't have a lot of good things to say about it. Every instance resulted in pain and discomfort lasting between 45 minutes and one hour, with symptoms ranging from mild discomfort to extreme nausea and vomiting. Experts advise that you seek medical help if you experience any kind of spider bite. The sooner the bite can be identified, the less likely it is to cause any kind of harm. Or superpowers. Number 11. Black Widow Spider do I even have to say it? Black widows are among the most feared and intimidating spiders in the world and should absolutely be avoided at all costs. Unless you happen to enjoy severe pain and the potential that you could die. In that case, feel free to seek one of these things out but uh, seriously don't. Considering its fearsome reputation, the Black Widow is actually a tiny spider, roughly the size of a paperclip. But that notoriety comes not from its size, but from its power. The Black Widow's venom is over 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake's, making it one of the deadliest and most dangerous animals in the world. Generally, however, Black Widows only tend to attack if they feel threatened, and even then you probably won't die. In reality, fatal bites from a black widow are rare. If the pain is mild, the victim doesn't need any kind of special treatment whatsoever. However, the potential for a fatal bite is always there, making an encounter with a black widow a pretty risky thing. Unfortunately for all of us, the black widow tends to hide in dark places, making it very difficult to spot them without getting up close. And if you happen to get too close, they'll attack. So good luck, spider hunters. Number 10. Kissing Bugs Who'd have thought that an insect known as the kissing bug is not something anybody should kiss? Who could have seen that one coming? Actually, kissing bugs are a particularly dangerous species of insect that can cause serious, potentially life-threatening illnesses. So I guess, no, you should not be kissing them. The severity of the reaction to the kissing bug depends on many factors. For instance, people with sensitive skin will likely suffer an allergic reaction that could make the experience far more intense than the average person, or as is more common, the kissing bug carry a parasite causing Chagas disease, a systemic infection that can cause serious problems for the internal organs. And who among us wants that? Apparently around 300,000 people in the US alone have been infected with this parasite. However, the odds of anybody getting infection in the US is pretty low. The disease is more common in parts of Latin America, but just be careful. These things tend to bite while humans are sleeping. Oh, did I not mention that? Yeah, these things are what nightmares are made of. Kissing bugs may have an adorable and cuddly name, but they're clearly anything but. If you happen to get a kiss from one of these things, you may want to tell your doctor. A kiss and tell? Number 9. Yellow Jackets over time, humanity has come to respect and appreciate the contribution that bees make to our world. They're basically friendly insects. Wasps, on the other hand, are the devil's best friend. Nothing good can come from a wasp's existence, and the yellow jacket really just proves my point. Bees have something of an existential nightmare when it comes to defending themselves. If threatened, they can either give up and potentially die, or sting the attacker and definitely die. It's not a good choice. Yellow jacket wasps, on the 
other hand, are free to sting again and again and again, which isn't fun. And sure, yellow jackets are known to sting in defense of their nest or young, but they're also known to sting for no good reason at all. Other than the simple fact that they can, the sensation has been described as like extinguishing a cigar on your tongue, which is something I personally have never experienced, but it doesn't sound good. Of course, the true victims of the yellow jackets are those that suffer severe allergic reactions to the sting. They have to suffer the pain on a much bigger scale. They get a sting and then some extra effects. How considerate, the devil will be thrilled. Number 8. Arizona Bark Scorpions here we come to the most venomous scorpion in all of North America, which is actually quite the contest. This guy can cause severe pain in its victims, lasting for several days. This is a case where the bite is really bigger than the bark. See what I did there? The Arizona bark scorpion is most commonly found in Arizona, obviously, as well as California, and throughout the Sonora Desert and southern Utah. But honestly, why would you go looking for this thing? They're terrifying. And it all comes down to that sting. Sure, all scorpions sting, but this is something different. The bark scorpion has a neurotoxin in its venom that can cause a seriously dangerous reaction in humans. This is a case where the numbness, tingling, and vomiting vomiting is actually the good part of the whole experience, if you can believe that. The pain that accompanies those side effects is intense and severe. Generally speaking, a single sting from the bark scorpion can lead to pain lasting anywhere between 24 and 72 hours, but no special treatment is required for your average sting unless you happen to have a severe allergic reaction. Expert advice is run away. Run fast. Number 7. Tarantula some of our viewers will likely be wondering why the tarantula is on our list as a bug when they keep it as a full-sized pet. It's a good question and we're not going to answer it because, uh, well, we can do that. The tarantula is the largest arachnid in the world and obviously they can be pretty dangerous in the right or wrong circumstances. For the most part, tarantulas are scared enough of large predators like humans that they'll keep their distance. But sometimes these animals feel threatened and it's just in their nature to handle that the only way they know how, attacking. And I think we all know how that's gonna go. The tarantula's venom is thankfully not deadly, but it can cause some pain and rashes. Experts usually rate a tarantula's bite at the same level of pain as a bee sting. However, if you happen to be allergic to insect bites or stings, you'll probably find yourself having a bad reaction. And if you're an arachnophobe, you'll have a panic attack. Thanks to that widespread phobia, tarantulas are a pretty feared animal all over the world. If you want to keep one as a pet, that's on you. I will be running. Thank you very much. Number 6. Bed bugs. I know what you're thinking. How can I run from an insect that lives in my bed? Easily go to sleep while on the treadmill. You'll get fit, you'll get rest, you'll get no bites. Problem solved. But if you don't have a treadmill, let's explain why bed bugs are so dangerous. Bed bugs are small parasitic insects that feast on the blood of their host humans and animals. Generally speaking, bed bugs don't spread or transmit disease, but they can cause a whole lot of problems. Bed bugs are primarily found in places with a high turnover of nocturnal guests. Places like hotels, hospitals, and homeless shelters are particularly prone to getting this kind of infestation, and true to their name, they're usually found lurking in the cracks and crevices of your mattress, box springs, or headboards, to name just three. Anybody else reconsidering sleeping tonight? Me too! Sleeping on the treadmill is sounding pretty good right now. Bed bugs are an incredibly frustrating pest because of how quickly they move and how easily they travel between floors and rooms. If you find one, you should probably have the whole place exterminated. And if you haven't looked, sleep tight. Don't let the ha <laughs> steadily creepy thought of blood sucking insects bite. Number 5. Brown Recluse Spider. We've talked a lot about spiders today, but this one is something else. Obviously, a lot of spiders have their own unique kind of venom, but there aren't many spiders that can cause as much harm to their victims as the brown recluse spider. This thing is 
Yikes. The brown recluse spider can be found in 15 states across the United States, and it really is something you should be concerned about. Their venom contains a powerful neurotoxin that can cause fever, bloody urine, jaundice, nausea, and in some cases, convulsions and death. So, yeah, this is a really harmless little bug. But according to studies, the brown recluse spider isn't all that aggressive, and bites are highly uncommon. In fact, most bites from this spider occur when the little guy gets lost inside a pile of clothes and some unsuspecting human tries to wear it. I don't know who gets more surprised in that situation, but I'm not sure I want to find out. The brown recluse spider may not be the most fatal spider in the world, but it's definitely a species we should all be paying more attention to. Apparently its fangs aren't strong enough to bite through fabric, so the answer here is just to never take your clothes off. I can live with that. Number 4. Africanized Bee if that name doesn't ring a bell, allow me to call it, by its more popular name, the Killer Bee. Yes, the Africanized Bee is the living nightmare that we were all hearing about during the hellscape that was 2020. Apparently, these psychopathic little bugs decided it was time to go international and nobody got a say in it, obviously. The Africanized Bee has mostly been found in the southern and southwestern parts of the United States, but they're pretty dangerous dangerous no matter where they may be. Like all bees, the Africanized bee likes to work as part of a swarm to find their new hive. And like all bees, these guys don't just attack for no good reason. They only attack if they believe their new hive is in danger, which means they will attack you if you happen to get too close. So consider that a warning. Hey, I didn't call them psychos for nothing. The Africanized bee is incredibly aggressive, with some chasing people for more than a quarter of a mile. But luckily for us, their venom isn't anything stronger than your regular bee. They do, however, like to attack in large swarms, which raises the possibility of death. So, you know, good news and bad news there. Number 3. Horseflies Man, there are a lot more blood-sucking insects in the world than we thought. Meet the horsefly, yet another one of Dracula's insect army, and a pretty irritating little thing. And believe it or not, it's even worse if you're not human. But then I think we all kinda knew that. Humans don't really have to worry too much about horseflies, as these insects tend to feed on large animals like deer and livestock, but we're not totally out of the woods. While male horseflies are totally harmless, the females bite and the experience is significantly worse than many other insect bites. While many insects just make a small puncture and leave, the horsefly prefers a more painful and torturous approach, cutting open the skin and feeding on the blood within. It's pretty gross, but hey, that's nature for ya. Again, experts insist that horseflies are generally not a concern for the average human, but our sympathies are with anybody who has to experience this kind of excruciating pain. I have never been more convinced that Dracula has amassed some kind of army of insects from the underworld. How else do you explain all these evil, torturous little bloodsuckers? It can't all be J.K. Rowling's fault, can it? Number 2. Real Bucks I had to check multiple times, but wheel bugs aren't toys based around bugs, which are also vehicles. They're actual insects, and yes, you should always run from them. Why? They're members of the assassin bug family. Need I say more? Well, yes, because that's kind of my job around here. Please like and subscribe. The wheel bug is generally pretty harmless to humans, assuming that you're not picking it up and prodding it. If so, you're pretty much on your way to bitey central, and honestly, I kind of have it coming. That bite is thankfully not fatal, and you will almost definitely survive the experience, but it is undoubtedly going to be a painful and intense experience, so please think twice before picking up random bugs you find in the wild. Then again, if you need to watch a YouTube video to know that, well, you may be too late. Like its fellow assassin bugs, the wheel bug tends to capture its prey by quickly stabbing it with its mouth parts. Which sounds like a euphemism, I know, but it isn't. According to experts, a bite from a wheel bug is considered far more painful than many other insects, including wasps. You still want to pick up and prod random insects, friends? Number 1. Mosquitoes 
Here's a fact you may or may not already know. More people are killed by mosquito-borne illnesses around the world than anything else. That's one heck of a fact. These little guys are single-handedly responsible for the deaths of millions of people, undoubtedly making them one of the world's most dangerous insects. <laughs> While mosquitoes are pretty horrific little insects on their own, it's really their ability to transmit disease that makes them a true danger to our planet. The 2015 Zika outbreak is just one example of how mosquitoes can take a troubling situation and turn it into a global catastrophe. Malaria continues to be a problem because mosquitoes are just so darn good at spreading it all over the place. In the United States, mosquitoes can even transmit illnesses to household pets like dogs and cats. There's no living thing on this planet that cannot be affected by a mosquito. Man, the good news just keeps coming. Mosquitoes are, without question, the most dangerous bug on the planet. If only for that terrifying ability to spread disease all over the place. Honestly, I'm still waiting for the mosquito net to become a fashion item. It's only a matter of time, and I really think I could pull it off. Have you ever encountered any of these dangerous bugs yourself? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.